my God. Did y'all see this? Do y'all see what I'm seeing, girl? Oh, my God. So these two... Oh, oh, I was going to say the N-word, honey. I got to control myself. So these two men lied on Jesse. Jesse, just to let you know, Jess, I always had your back. Everybody was coming against you talking about you lying. You paid these men. You ain't paid these men. I knew you ain't paid these men, Jess. I always believed you. Y'all see the title right there. Uh, Jesse did not pay attack uh, brother. The brothers, $3,500 for the attack, okay? Okay, and I got this from TMZ. And just to let you know, honey, it's multiple sources that confirms it. As you guys can see right here, the Jasmine brand, that's my girl. I don't know her, but I love her work, okay? So we're going to take some time and we're going to read some stuff. Hold on, what? Stooting in the sheets. Don't sleep on these. Uh-uh, to see that's that freaky shit. So as you guys can see, Jesse Smollett did not pay the brothers $3,500 for the attack, sweetheart. Can we, can y'all hear that again? Yeah, go run, tell that, okay? They out here making Jesse look crazy and look, I knew Jesse, I knew, I knew you wouldn't do that. I knew you wouldn't. See, these two black men, I don't know where y'all from, can't trust your asses. Y'all gonna go to that goddamn uh, police and y'all gonna lie on Jesse saying that he paid y'all 3500 for the attack? It ain't right. It's not right. Not right at all. So we gonna read a little bit. Y'all know how we are when we read, okay? The Chicago claims Jesse paid. Now he did pay him because he they was his trainers, period, okay? He paid him 3500 Um. See, okay, you see that shit? Because I'm reading with y'all. This is my first time reading this. When I, as soon as I got the tea, bitch, I came and I was like, bitch, I got to tell my party crashers, okay? So they said the Chicago claims Jesse paid those to me. I can't pronounce that. Ola and Abala uh, 3500 to fake the attack. But sources connected to the case tell TMZ that this is just not the case, honey. Okay. Girl, so it looked like the Chicago police is, is versus Jesse, right? And these two brothers are like a palm, you know, like in a check in a chess game. Now, why would Chicago police, you know, make those assumptions up and then put it out there for the world to see? Like, why would the Chicago police put fake, fake stories out there and you guys don't know if it's the truth that he really paid these men to do all this? You know what I'm saying? Huh. Something, something going on. So anyway, um, our sources says the brothers made a deal with Jesse to train him for five weeks. Do you see that? Train him for five weeks so he can get in shape for an upcoming music video. Okay, now Jesse, stop fucking with these two brothers because, listen, they lie on you, okay? So we're going to need you to get somebody else because I wouldn't trust them motherfuckers. Um, so anyway, um, back to the story. Jesse has said to Ola that he wanted abs like him, like his, his, his and his brother, I guess, okay? Both Abigail and Ola agreed to train Jesse and also give him a five-week nutritious plan, okay? Our sources say Jesse told the brothers he would pay them for their services, honey. I guess they was going to do for free, but he said, you know, I'll pay you for your services. But no specific amount was discussed, okay? Child, y'all ready? Should we play the clip real quick? Okay, let's 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 hear what he got to say. Attention by sending a false letter that relied on racial, homophobic, and political language. When that didn't work, it's gonna let pay thirty five hundred dollars to stage this attack and drag Chicago's reputation through the mud in the process. So basically, they just put that up there to show that um that this was a lie, you know? A few days before the attack, Jesse wrote the brothers a check for 3,500, okay? The memo line reads five weeks training nutritious plan. So that's what it says on a check, okay? Five weeks nutrition plan. Our sources say Ola and Abel told the grand jury they were paid for the five week program and not for the attack. So hold on. 
So they tell the police one thing, and then they tell the grand jury another thing, or do you feel like the Chicago police, sweetheart, uh, told these brothers or just came out with the story that Jesse paid uh, the men to attack, okay? Because these men say Jesse didn't pay them uh, to make that attack. Do you feel like they was telling the truth in the beginning? And, uh, these men talked to Lee Daniels, and he said, well, when y'all get out, y'all shit is over. Y'all need to change this. And now they're switching their story. I need to hear from my party crashes what y'all think about this, because this is a big twist and turn. First story we heard, uh, these brothers got paid by Jesse. He paid them 3500 That's what the police said, right? Now they're saying after the grand jury, the brother's going to say, including Jesse said that he paid them for the, the for a five-week planning because Jesse wanted his abs to look like they abs, and Jesse wanted to be fit like they got fit, and Jesse wanted both of them, honey. He couldn't just have one. He wanted both, okay? <laughs> Double team on that hoe. All right, so um, now they're saying the brother's, were not paid. Uh, motherfucker, did y'all attack Jesse? Yes and no. Okay? And if you did attack him, what you attacked him for? Okay? Now, I'm y'all making me more losing my mind. Okay? I'm about to lose my mind up in here, up in here. So, anywho, um, our source connected with the brothers did say Ola and Abel felt, felt the, the amount was a little high. Okay, but no one ever specifically said anything about any of the money being a part of a scheme. Okay, we learned that the brothers also told the grand jury that they had nothing to do with the threatening letter mailed to Jesse eight days before the attack. Girl, what y'all think about that, honey? What this say article say Jesse uh have connected with the host after attack on Lee Daniels gay cousin y'all want to click on that y'all see this real quick what you know I want to know what them comments saying don't y'all want to go back and see them comments okay let's go back and see them comments and we'll come back okay because we want to see what the people's gonna say damn all these comments so let's see what the people saying the people are saying I had to block voodoo down okay TMZ has people posting on here and deleting everyone's posts Okay, don't trust white history. America was built on white lies. This was like a modern day lynching and that is not real. Only white people trust the cops. I'm not kidding you all. Google search his name, then add mother. Okay, and then add Black Panther and see what comes up. All the links I posted below getting deleted. All right, okay, so you know what? I'm done with these comments already. So let's go. What was that, y'all? Come on, come on with me. Come on, we party crashes in here. Make sure y'all comment be below. We want to know what y'all got to say about this. Now, this says Jesse uh, hoax may have been uh, concocted, bitch. Damn, I haven't said that word, concocted. I like that in my concocted, bitch. After an attack on Lee Daniels' gay cousin, okay? Okay, come on, Lee Daniels. This is, they look like criminals together. Don't they look like running bodies? Uh-huh, besties, honey. All right, so let's go down. Uh, Jesse might have gotten the idea to stage his own attacked after Lee Daniels. Now, didn't we all say Lee Daniels has some connection to do with this shit? All right, so it says, Jesse might have gotten the idea to stage his attack after Lee Daniels talked about his his cousin getting assaulted because he's gay, okay? At least that's what some members of the Empire cast think. <laughs> what? The Empire cast? Who are these members? We wanna know names, honey, okay? Sources close to the Empire production tell TMZ some cast members think Jesse Gear started grinding, honey, in his head days after Lee posted a video on Instagram on January the 10th calling out homophobia. And the same post, the Empire creator captioned it, honey. He said, this past week, my cousin was beat up for being gay, okay? And I am sick of hearing these stories, all right? So that's what the people are saying. Let's play this little thing real quick. Happy New Year, everybody. 
a lot's going on. And it's uh, crazy out here. It's crazy. And I, um, I am compelled to talk to um, my gay brothers and sisters, youth and adult, to tell you that it's okay to be who you are. It's okay um, to stand firmly in your shoes and be who exactly you want to be. And don't worry about being called names. Hold your head up high, like my mom and my dad did in the 60s. And uh, know that inevitably, um, right will be done. We will win this battle. Turn this down. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. I, well, you know, everybody's different, so everybody's gonna be inspired by different things, like a pain of art or just words in a book. Everybody's gonna be inspired, and everybody's gonna get a different message from different shit. So our sources say Lee then showed up to the set, honey, okay, and shared more about the story. Everyone was visibly upset that Lee's family had gone through this horrific ordeal, honey. The sources are now saying that this might have been where Jesse got that idea to make matters into his own damn hands and become a LGBT hero, honey. The Chicago DB superintendent says Jesse motive was money. He felt he was underpaid on the show interesting dot 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 because Lee Daniels is the guy in charge of the cash register. Okay, so you know by now cops are saying Jesse's attack was a whole hoax, okay? And agreed the actors paid, were paid two of the brothers, y'all, the Nigerian, um, 3500 with the personal check. Jesse's been charged. Okay, well, this is OT, okay? So we already know these brothers then came out already and said they did not. Um, get paid thirty five hundred to attack anybody. They got paid thirty five hundred for um for training Jesse um for five weeks, and they felt that I was a little bit too much. It felt like it was a little bit high. So this is the current story. That story I just read was like a little bit of OT, but I was just curious to see what the hell was going on. So you know, that, I don't want you to get y'all confused, okay? So anyway, let's moving on to some current tea. So we we here at um Homegirl Jasmine brand, right? So she reports too, cause you know me, I like to see multiple sources. Okay, report. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Jasmine says, new report says Jesse Smollett did not pay brothers 3500 to attack. Okay. So um, the Jesse uh, gets more confusing by the day. Early this week, it was revealed that Smollett had paid his alleged attackers, Ola and Abigail, on him. <laughs> 3500 to fake an attack on him in Chicago, girl. But however, bitch, that ain't the motherfucking truth, okay? Sources are now getting to it. Now say that that was not the case. So you all that get out of your head. It was not the case. New reports say that the $3,500 check that Jesse wrote to the brothers were for five weeks of personal training services and meal plans. According to the source, according to the brothers, that's what they told the grand jury. Jesse was trying to get fit. Okay, let me roll it up then. Jesse... I done lost my place. Don't y'all hate when y'all lose your place when y'all read? Jesse was trying to get fit for a new video. The memo line of the check also reads five weeks training nutrition pan. And that's another thing I want to stop talking to y'all about. When y'all writing these checks, y'all must put what it's for because people that are crooked in the police will add their two cents on it. But if you put what that check is for, it helps. Okay. Ha. Huh. Get into it. Okay, Ola and Abel reportedly told the grand jury um, they were paid for the five-week program and not for the attack. But unfortunately, that's not the, the, the way the story made it out to the public, okay? It seems this story is ever-changing because somebody's trying to ruin Jesse's reputation, honey. All right? 
So let y'all know I'm Gossip Girl XOX. I'm here to tell y'all what I heard, what I seen on here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just here to report, boo, okay? Child, what do y'all think about this? I want to know, y'all. I'm going to be reading these comments all tonight. I want to know what y'all thought about this, what y'all think about the police putting out fake statements in the public. Why would the police do that? Why would the Chicago police put out fake statements and everybody running with it, huh? Why would they do that? Okay. Now, the brothers came out and they said that they got paid 3500 for the meal plan. You know, we haven't heard from the brothers, but the police have told us, you know, some stuff like that's what the brothers said, but I guess the brothers then changed it up or the police was lying one or the other. I don't know which one is which, okay? However, we did see that um that footage of the men uh, buying that ski mask. So what's the real tea on that? Can't wait to get... I want... What's the real tea with the ski mask? But y'all know they said Chicago people, um, you know, up north, they always buy ski masks. That ain't nothing new. But what about the mega hats? They really in that mega hat for real? Like, something up. Like, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to try to wait and try to see what's going on. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Make sure you guys subscribe to Gossip Girl XOXO. You know you love me. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.